Good morning. It is Thursday morning, June 6th, and it is time for Morning Mercies with Pastor Big Al. I'm Pastor Big Al, and I have my Bible uh, this morning with me. I also have a cup of coffee in my Jerusalem cup. Reminding us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and we're going to continue our uh, look at the prayer habits of Jesus. Uh, we've been uh, looking at a couple of these so far that he would pray all night. Uh, when he is about to make a big decision before he uh, picks his disciples, he would pray all night long. Yesterday we saw that Jesus went to a solitary, isolated place uh, in order to pray. And this morning we're going to go through uh, Mark chapter uh, 6, yeah. uh, verse, uh, beginning with verse 45. And so, to give you a little backdrop, uh, Jesus has just fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children, and he sends his disciples across uh, on the lake. So, it picks up at verse 45, Mark chapter 6, verse 45. It says, immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida. And while he sent the people home, after telling everyone goodbye, he went up on the hills, into the hills, by himself to pray. Late that night, the disciples were in their boat in the middle of the lake, and Jesus was alone on the land. He saw that they were in serious trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. Uh, he intended to go past them. This scripture it, it tells us, uh, uh, it kind of reminds us of what he has been doing. Remember, he went to an isolated place yesterday, and today he goes up in the hills, and he's praying. He's all alone. He's by himself. But I want you all to see where the disciples at. The disciples are in the in a boat in the, on the middle of the lake, and they're struggling, and they're struggling. And I love Mark's account of this because it says that Jesus saw them. He saw them. And I want to encourage you, the, this idea that, that Jesus sees us in our struggle. It doesn't feel necessarily that he's with us in the boat and, and he doesn't, doesn't know about the trials and the struggles that we're going through today, but, but Jesus sees us. Uh, we do know that Jesus intercedes on our behalf every single day uh, to the Father. And so for that, I'm very encouraged. And, and here's that, that prayer thought, that Jesus is praying and interceding on our behalf because he sees the struggles that we are having. Be encouraged by those words. Let me have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness today. And thank you for your grace that is, is all sufficient. It's, it's always enough. Thank you for your, your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you that... When we're struggling, when we're going through the trials of this world, and it doesn't feel like you're there with us, we know that you see us and that you're, you're interceding on our behalf. Lord, we pray for your presence. We pray for your help. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray you all have a blessed and amazing day.